It's important to ensure that your domain is configured properly in order for your Google Workspace business emails to function correctly. To do this, we need to set up three authentication methods, SPF record, DKIM record, and DMARC for your domain. This will ultimately enhance the deliverability of your emails and stop your emails from arriving inside your recipient's spam folders. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome along to this brief Google Workspace tutorial. Today, I'm going to share the step-by-step -step process of how you can properly set up Google Workspace with SPF, DKIM, and DMARC to ensure that your emails are working properly. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and properly set up your domain with Google Workspace. Okay, so getting started in order for us to set up and properly configure our SPF, DKIM and DMARC records for our domain, we first need to log into our hosting provider and then locate DNS records. Now every domain provider and the user experience will look slightly different. So go ahead and locate your domain provider, log in and then locate the DNS. So I'm using Cloudflare for my DNS record. So this is where I would go ahead and change all my DNS records. Okay, so the first step for us to enhance our email deliverability for Google Workspace is to add the SPF record. And this record basically prevents our messages from being labeled as spam when they arrive in our recipient's inbox. Okay, so go ahead and locate add record within your DNS. And then simply navigate over to type and locate txt record. Then under name, simply add at. And once you've added the at symbol, simply come down to content or you might see value. And we want to add this information in here. And this information here, this content can be found publicly online. So what I'll do is add a link down below that will take you to this information that you can simply copy and then paste within content. Then once you've done that, simply navigate over to save and click save. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to simply click cancel because I've already added this record. However, you want to make sure that you've clicked save. Okay, so now that you have successfully added the SPF record, now what we need to do is add the DKIM record. And this basically helps prevent us from being identified as a spammer. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is log into our Google Workspace admin account. And then once you've arrived in your Google Workspace admin account, simply navigate up to apps and then locate Gmail. Then navigate over to Authenticate Email. Then make sure under DKIM Authentication that you have your domain selected. Then come down and click on Generate New Record. And then if we navigate up to New Record, we first have the option to select the length of our DKIM key. So at the moment we have 2048 selected. We can also select 1024. Now it's recommended that you keep 2048 selected, which is more secure. Then keep Google down here for the prefix and then click generate. Then first we need to navigate up to the DNS host name, text record name, and simply copy this section up here. Then once you've done that, simply head back to your domain provider, your DNS records, and then go ahead and add a new record. And again, what we're going to do is navigate over to type and make sure that you have TXT text records selected. Then under name, all you need to do is paste in that bit of text that we copied earlier. And then simply navigate down to content or value. And then head back to your Google Workspace admin. And this time simply copy this entire text record value. And then once you've copied this text record value, simply head back to your DNS records. And under content, all you need to do is paste in that value. 
And once you've done that, simply navigate over to save and save that new text record. And then once you've saved that record, simply head back to your Google Workspace admin and then simply navigate down and click on start authentication. Now it can take up to 48 hours for the DNS changes to fully propagate. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do to enhance our email deliverability is to add our DMARC record. To do that, simply head back to your domain DNS records and then go ahead and click on add record again. Then navigate over to type and locate text records again. And this time under name, what we want to do is add underscore DMARC. And again, what I'll do is leave this information in the description for you to copy and paste into your DNS. And then navigate down to content and paste in this information that I've added down in the description. Now, it's important that we do need to change some of this content. So over here, next to mail2, we want to add your email. So my email is stuart at cindio.co.nz. So make sure that you've added your email in this section of the content. Then again, all you need to do is navigate over to save and save this third record. And congratulations, just like that guys, you've updated your DNS records with the correct SPF, DKIM and DMARC records. Okay, so now we need to confirm that our domain is set up correctly. To do that, simply head over to Google Admin Toolbox check mx and again what i'll do is add the link in the description that will take you here then go ahead and simply add your domain name and then click run checks and just like that you'll be able to see if your domain was configured properly and that is how you properly set up google workspace with spf dkim and dmark records and there we have it guys, that is it for this brief tutorial helping you enhance your email deliverability. Now if you have any questions about this process make sure to pop them down below. And with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.